In this video, we're going to explore how you can take action on accidentally shared files using the investigation tool, which is another feature included as part of Google Workspace for Education Standard and Education Plus. You can access the investigation tool by going to security on the left-hand menu and then selecting security center and then investigation tool. The investigation tool allows you to identify, triage and take action on security and privacy issues in your domain. For example, imagine a teacher contacts you and reports there is a file accidentally shared with a group that should not have access to it and they want to remove access. You can solve this issue by launching a new investigation and here we need to select a data source. In this case, we need to look at drive log events as this item is stored on Google Drive. Next, we need to add a condition. So let's select add condition and provide the owner information. So this is the user who owns that file. Now let's add another condition to narrow down our search a bit further. So again, I'm going to select add condition. And this time, let's provide the document title. Okay, now we've narrowed down our search. Let's select search and see what results we can find. Okay, so now the search has completed. Let's scroll down and check the search results. So this is a log of results showing us activity on the file matching our search description. If we scroll along, we can see the events which triggered uh, this to be saved into the log. And we can see that the current visibility of this file is set to people with link. The investigation tool allows us to perform a number of actions on these files. So if I select one of these log events and then select actions from here, I can add a user to that file. So that's useful if I needed to check it for myself. I can audit file permissions, change owner, disable, download, print and copy or remove users. In this case, I'm going to select audit file permissions. This then shows me who the owner of that file is and I can see users with rights to that file. For instance, this user currently has view rights and these two are editors of the file. If we look at links along the top and switching to this tab shows me that anyone with a link can currently open this file. So if I go over to the right hand side here and expand this option, I can see that anyone in this group can open and edit this file and that anyone with the link can open and no sign in was required and they have edit access. So we want to remove this and lock this file down. And we can do that by simply selecting where it says edit and change that to restricted. Okay, so now we've made that change, we can see it's listed under pending changes. So we actually need to save this change to push that out. So I'm gonna hit save now. And great, that's it. Now only the users that have specifically been given access to that file can access it and link sharing has been turned off. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.